Welcome to Spirit Forest. We are going to be trying to get in shape now for uh, backpacking. I got a backpacking trip that I want to do in one month, about a month from now, and I need to get in shape because it's been a while. So we're going to get in shape, but I also want to show you some stuff that I have been doing because I have not like not done anything this whole winter. So I want to show some stuff because a lot of times I don't film everything, but I have little snippets that I want to show you. I have some new gear too, some new winter gear that I want to show you too. So stay tuned. I'm so happy to be in the sun and warmth again. <sighs> and I'm probably going to be camping this uh, weekend on snow. <laughs> but right now I'm going to absorb this really nice weather that we're having. <sighs> getting in better shape and running and getting ready for backpacking season I want to tell you about what I have been doing this winter as you noticed I haven't been posting as many videos well it's because I am one of the reasons actually there's a few of them and you're gonna find out um, is because I am skiing almost every weekend I can possibly ski I have taken the last two years off of skiing and now it's time to get back on the mountain. And if you have never skied in your life, I recommend this sport. It is so fun. It's, it's like, I always consider it like dancing with the mountain. And um, I brought my daughters with me too, so you'd see them skiing here with me. And it was just a blast. And they love it just as much as I do. In fact, I think Madison might be a better skier than me, but don't tell her I told you. Skiing was not the only thing I've done. I have also traveled around Colorado a little bit and stayed in other places like Grand Lake and over in Buena Vista. And I've had so much fun over there. I even found this just off the beaten path. Like I didn't even know it was there. We were driving down this road and it ends up being an old train rail um, that went through that cut through the mountain it was so cool uh, we wanted to drive through it a couple times <laughs> but it was so fun it was just so cool to drive through those little tunnels
Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep Since nine and nine What I thought was gone Was sitting in my pocket In plain sight All along I think it's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Let's not forget about all of my horse duties that I have. I, for those of you that don't know, I do own a horse. I try to ride her three to four days a week, but I have to admit that life's been pretty busy lately and I have not been able to be out there as much as I like, but I'd like to change that going forward. But she does require some maintenance and to get out there and brush her and take care of her and give her loves. I have been living in a basement of a friend's house for the past year. It was only supposed to be six months until my cabin was built, but as you know, my cabin is still not built, so I need to find another place to go um, since it has now been a year. So now I am in this little tiny town home, which I think is just adorable, and I have decorated it and made it a home for my girls and I. I did promise you that I had some new winter gear and I got new snowshoes. These are Ayamaya snowshoes. They're lightweight aluminum snowshoes. I think that they're really good. I think that the well, things that I like about them the best is that they have this ratchet type system for their straps of putting them on. Um, whereas a lot of times you have to take off your gloves to put on your snowshoes. In this case, you really don't need to take off your gloves. You could just use that ratchet. I think that's like the key feature of these snowshoes. And I do have to say too that they did provide these snowshoes to me, but um, I recommend them. And I have a link below, so check it out if you're interested. Um, they're only like $40 on Amazon. So to me, that's like a steal. I know a lot of people spending 75 to 120 dollars or even more on snowshoes so um, we went um, a few miles um, in these snowshoes without a problem at all i'm 
used to give all I have I'm used to get nothing back Wherever I go, it's the same There's no excuses, no one to blame Sometimes I can't understand how it can be So hard to stay out of pain But with you, everything has changed even though we both say the same Would you call me on the midnight train? Would you come over when nothing's right? Would you hold me tight in the rain? Even as we're having a fight Saving the best for last. My biggest change in my life is that I have found somebody to share in my adventures. I have been doing so many adventures alone, and don't get me wrong, I'm still going to go on solo adventures, but there will be times where I'll have someone to share it with. I have found someone that loves the outdoors almost <laughs> as much as me and I'm sure he's going to watch this video and say uh no <laughs> Scott is sweet kind loving trustworthy in fact I have never met anyone like him he makes me laugh to the point of tears my favorite thing is when he smiles at me and I feel very lucky to have met him his outdoor skills are a bit different than mine, and we will be able to learn from each other as you might see throughout the year. I am so very happy. You ready? Are we wolf walking? Yeah. You know, I end up snowshoeing like twice the distance when I do these like walkaways. Just, just letting you know, it's all for the, all for the motivation, inspiration to inspire you to get outside. Yes. So get outside. This is a lot of work. I did it. I did it. I did two and a half miles in 30 minutes. <laughs> Not the best time. In fact, I have a goal to beat one of my friends and he is at 3.2 miles in 29 minutes. So I am hoping to beat him and um, I will get there. But today, this is day one. So we will get there eventually. Just want to give you guys just a reminder just to get out there and exercise. I do this because I want to still be able to do all the activities I want to do, whether it be summer or winter activities. I want to be able to still do them when I'm older. And in order to do that, you got to keep exercising. You got to keep pushing yourself to get outdoors. And I hope that I help to push you to get outdoors. So get out there. It's beautiful outside. I got to see nature, even though I'm in the city. I got to see nature and lakes and, and little streams and stuff. And it was just so pretty. So um, find the beauty in the city and just get outside, even if it's just a walk. I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Thanks for joining. <laughs> you going first?
video don't do it um, this way it's got to be horizontal <laughs> now I'm gonna edit that <laughs> <laughs> you could have brought water a fire starting kit or jerky and you bring a cookie <laughs> it's survival food and look how big that cookie is though yeah and you're not sharing no. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.